Hey, it's fam. How are you? Hope all is well. I want to go ahead and do this and get it out of the way. Um, now I can say I'm at 99. Let me turn this up. Turn it up. You didn't miss anything. I think I'm at 99% now, you guys. You know, and um, I'm. It's almost, almost right. But um, nowhere is near how I was in the beginning. So that's a good thing, right? So, um, look what I found interesting. I found interesting that I have been seeing what's called the Cannabar, right? Mall. I mean, they are around in droves. Everywhere I go, I see these malls. So then I went into the spiritual side of moths, right? And um, those type of moths are signs of death and destruction, right? And then one thing I found, noticed as well, I went out to Harriet Tubman's spot, Brandywine, right? See, I go out there and, and, and I get a feel of... Um, What's to come, right? And when it comes, how to be prepared. So I am uh, most definitely uh, a part of that underground railroad, right? Um, in reality, right? I, I've been living by uh, the brandy wine from a child, right? And when I started learning about how Harriet used the whole strip of brandy wine, right, to bring slaves from the north to the south, um, from the south to the north, to Canada, to freedom, I've been always fascinated. So I always go out there, right? Um, so what I noticed out there, I went yesterday. What I noticed out there. Um, it's a bunch of uh, silkworms. And they do have them where the silkworms make their little thing and they make this nest and you can see them ever so, you know, small places within the woods, right? However, these moths, silkworm moths, right? Um, have made a bed, I want to say, of um, cocoon nests, right? That just look like silk, right? Covering the trees. It's, it's very deep to see. Mind you, we just had this tornado come through here. Uh, it hit that same spot and where Harry Tubman is at. It just opened up the road. Remember, I went out there the other day. They just opened up the road um, it, to go straight back, right? Because back there, nothing but trees. It was all fucked up. And then I rode back yesterday to examine the damage, right? Um, but these moths, these silkworm moths, right? has taken over out there. Now, with silkworms, that's um survival. You know that? That's the symbol of um survival, right? So looking at this with amazement, right? Knowing what's to come, we pay attention to signs, symbols, as well as animals and insects, right? If you pay attention to those, right? Instead of man, because man ain't hitting on shit nowadays. You pay attention to that, you're going to make it. L later, so I just wanted to share that with you, right? So where I what I came in here today for, right? Um, looking at 
LeBron James, right? And um, whatever deal he made with the left side of white supremacy uh, through Obama, right? Um, I'm glad it happened. I'm really glad it happened, right? I'm glad it happened so black people, right, can see, right, what's going on here. That was a sign, right, that with a lot of these celebrities, right, uh, has been double agents working for the, definitely the left side of white supremacy since it all started, right? So you got to realize that Obama is the king devil of the boule boot camp, especially biracials and all that kind of interracial sex, uh, uh, LGBTQ sex, and uh, all kinds of things that is just, if you really look at the character and the things he support and call himself an African American man, which he isn't, right? Uh, you will see, you would see that's not the behavior of the uh, original man. I'll tell you that. It's not the behavior of us, right? So when you look, I remember reading Malachi Z. York's book, right? I think that was Leviathan, right? Or Leviticus. I think it was that. But in that book, right? Um, I got to give him credit because he already spoke about the neutral noise that was going to come. In that time, he was labeling uh, Holly Berry, Mariah Carey, and things of that nature. And he was telling you, he said a neutral noise was going to become the president, right? Ain't that right, Obama? And he was going to come out there and he was going to trick the people, right? Now, if you look at um, Ezekiel, refugees, right? And you look at the king, because he a king, right? And you look at where the people are in an uproar, right? And then they go and take the king and he goes underground. But when he goes underground, what he doesn't realize is that there will be a net, right? The people going to set him up like Judas, you know, I going to set him up. He going to be, he going to come back up to the surface, right? to face the judgment of the people. So, um, Obama, you won't be able to get away from the wrath of uh, God, right? You already know that. You know your time and people like you, your time is up, right? Because you've been fooling black people being a neutronoi, right, for the longest time, right? But uh, the gig is up. See, black people don't look at you for what you are and not what you appear to be. Now, let's look at Obama. Obama and then his right-hand man, right? Uh, Joe Biden, you know what they got in common? They belong. They both belong to the leprechaun uh, community, right? They both believe in the um, lucky coins, right? They both are Irish, right? Obama's mother was Irish. Okay, his father was Kenyan, right? And his father died when he was young. So his Irish grandfather raised him. Is, is that correct? Are we all right? Are we are we getting somewhere, black people? Are we getting somewhere with it? A lot of the a lot of y'all probably already know this information. And maybe you don't, but I'm getting ready to put you up on some shit here, right? So we know that Obama was raised by his mother, right? We know that Obama really didn't have any relations with black people besides Michelle when Michelle came along. See, a lot of reason why a lot of people even respect Obama is because of our African American, uh, black American uh, sister, Michelle. Don't get it fucked up, Obama. We, it was a lot of us that never felt you, right? But we, we opened our arms and welcomed you into black American culture because of our sister, right? But now, you know, after we saw you for what you are and not what you appear to be, right? Then, um, you know, we just going to have to judge you on your own merit, you know. Um, I feel in my heart and my mind that she feels betrayed. I don't, I can't speak for her. But being a black American woman and your husband works alongside of white supremacy while hollering black power. 
I can imagine that being very painful to the point where you may be depressed about it, right? So, um, Obama, here, here, okay, remember Jared? Jared wanted to call and talk to LeBron first, right? And he wouldn't, you know, they said, I don't think LeBron would speak to him. So they went and got their Irishman or Irish man, right, to do their bidding for him. See, this is the thing. People don't get, it don't matter if it's the left side of white supremacy or the right, right side of white supremacy. You're fucking with a government. You're fucking with Congress. You're fucking with a body that's created by multi, uh, multi-racials nowadays, uh, a body of beings, right? With, with, with one agenda, and that's to keep divine order of white supremacy, right? So Obama making that call to LeBron as if he was doing something to uh, calm down the tension of black people, right? Through LeBron James, really? Listen, I got a feeling, right? He out there now, he got on shirts, vote or die. All this shit, right? But I got a feeling, you know, because these, a lot of these celebrities been double agents, like I said. See, one thing about him, he really, LeBron really don't have knowledge itself. So that means that he hasn't been elevated into his God self, right? Because if he was God, he would know a devil when he see one, whether natural or made. He would know that, right? So I can't, I can't respect Right, a person uh, who ain't God, or is God, but he just don't have the knowledge, proper knowledge of the God he's supposed to be. Right, coming out here trying to um, use trick knowledge on us, right, with this to vote or die shit. Right, so we go even if they become president, right, even if they become president, right. LeBron James is going to have to own that. You're going to have to own that vote or die, right? Because when we vote, whether we vote or not, right, that's not going to stop white supremacy, right? And LeBron knows that and Obama knows that too. Now, another thing, they're always having conversations about black people in the dark. You got something to say to black people, say it to the body because we ain't, we don't trust these motherfucking side Winder snake ass agents bought and paid for goddamn agents. You know what I mean? See, this is the thing. A lot of us out here, y'all, with them, y'all can stop their bad. With us, we can stop our bad. We don't have no bad for you to stop, right? Right? Because that's the game. Now, look at all the brothers and sisters who have been dealing with Obama since. Um, uh, he got in the office, right? Now, look at all the positions they have gotten now. He opened he opened the gates for, especially for biracials, for LGBTQ, especially these celebrities and shit. He opened up doors and avenues for them they never could walk through, right? But it all came with a price, right? Sell out your brothers and sisters. Don't say nothing about white supremacy. Anytime that subject comes up speak on it for a second skip over it and go back to your normal cooning right or just go ahead and chase that pigskin ball up and down a goddamn course right that's how we doing it so you got to watch these irishmen right because obama and joe biden are irish right they are not about it's nothing black american about no goddamn obama right only thing black American about him is his wife, right? And that, and that she's black American, uh, you know, by blood, but, you know, she has been birthed. She has been reborn into white supremacy and black face. Y'all come out here and you do the devil's bidding on the left and the right, fucking with black Americans, right? While the people are in the streets getting shot down like dogs, 
and then you know they got to the point where he said fuck it we we gonna shoot y'all niggas we gonna shoot y'all black looking niggas and we gonna shoot any white mother that gets in the way of our mission ain't that right that's how they doing them so you so brothers and sisters this is exactly um because i want to go here right because obama don't give a fuck about black people he understands something uh black people is the economy right we are if they would have really stuck to this script and stayed on code right and did what they did you know how much money they would have lost right see like with the stock markets right now right i do believe that with the stock markets right it's like a circuit breaker that needs to be fixed right so you got lights on in your house they keep flickering on and off flickering on and off and so it just blows right so when you see things like lebron um saying they're gonna boy boycott the entertainment right that's part of the economy the economy already getting fucked up because of a pandemic and it's already fucked up because after the 2008 stock market crash they did the same stupid shit obama let uh these paid um uh, for-profit colleges to put so many black americans in debt it's insane and we ain't gonna pay y'all back a goddamn dime because we, you know y'all did that you were the co-signer of that predatory loan shit going on with black americans and then you try to trick us you want us to go to these paid for profit schools meanwhile people like you and kamala who aren't even african-american went and graduated with high honors at a historical black colleges i find that just so disrespectful right so we we, we hear with um the economy right so if lebron would have did what he did it would have fucked the, the, the economy up right it would start fucking with stocks and see it ain't all about basketball basketball comes with promotions you know the little commercials and all that shit then people go out buy the products and all that see these people aren't just uh football and basketball players they're also brands right they whore themselves out not just for basketball but then they hoard themselves out for clothing lines or jewelry or cars and uh watches and snacks right so when they when they put themselves so much into the relationship, right? And then uh, they do something to their spouse, right? Then the spouse comes to them and say, keep fucking around. We ain't got no prenup. I'm going to take not half, but I'm going to take it all back from you. Right? So make no make no mistakes about it. He only sided with them because they was about to stop his motherfucking bag, right? Just like a lot of these celebrities out here who ain't speaking up and the ones to speak up and doing all that coon shit, right? They know that it, whatever they say, uh, they don't, they're not going to say anything because it'll stop their fucking bag. But see, if you were really about your people, you would never worry about uh, them stopping your motherfucking bag, right? Because you would always eat, you would always be able to eat, you would always be able to drink, you would always have a shelter, shelter over your head, right? And you would have your warriors all around you protecting you because we know that you would become the next white supremacy victim, right? But see, that ain't what you want. That ain't what you want. You said, fuck it, I'm a fool. Y'all niggas... Y'all niggas ain't worth me getting my bag stopped, right? So I'm going to do what Obama said, right? But Obama ain't say to black people yet as a fucking whole that uh, we, y'all, you, we want to get, you going to, uh, we're going to give you reparations. Did he say it? Did he tell you that, LeBron? Did he say, did he whisper to you? Just go ahead and do it. 
and get all your brothers and sisters to vote as soon as we get Kamala in the chair and we get the House and we get the Senate. We're going to come out with surprise. We're going to give you reparations. Is that is that why we're supposed to vote and die, LeBron? Or die? I want to know. See, LeBron knows something, right? And Obama know it too, right? Because all them niggas he hang around ain't got knowledge of they motherfucking self, right? He know that. He know them niggas ain't got knowledge of they self. But he know he can't trick the gods and earths. And as some call themselves goddess, some call themselves kings, queens, pharaohs, right? The shamans, um, the high priest, priestess, the godmothers, the queen mothers. We could go down the list. He know he can't fucking fool us with that bullshit, right? <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Not in this realm, right? So you go do what you do with the unconscious, right? And you, you continue to do it. You continue to stick your head out there like you really got the pull and power to do what you're doing, you know, and at the end still ain't going to do shit for black people, right? We can see. We can see in due time, right? We will see if you got that much power because you already knew it was a power greater than you, right? And all you did was come out there and show black people once again the reason why we ain't going to fucking vote, right? Reason why we ain't going to vote. Because we know when we had you as the president, black people were getting gunned down and shot down in the streets like dogs. You did nothing. You had a black attorney general. You did nothing, right? So when Trump became the president, you ran up to us and, oh, don't take away my legacy. Uh, you know, everybody get out and vote. What did we do? Because by that time, everybody was woke, right? By that time, everybody was woke. We was like, nigga, you got to be fucking kid. But you, you, you played us for eight fucking years. A lot of them just figured it out. And you still want us to uh, vote for you so you can continue. Once you finish this, you was going to put LGBTQ transsexual bathrooms in our baby, around our babies. All around this country was going to be LGBT, which we don't have no problem because I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there in a few minutes with you with that bullshit too, right? So we, 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 we didn't want your type of behavior. We didn't want that type of, as black people, listen, we know in Africa, right, that there are, we, we know by tradition that there are brothers and sisters out here who are, uh, souls right confused souls that's trapped in these bodies that don't belong in them right we call them oshun's children ain't that right brothers and sisters don't we call them oshun's children and we stay the fuck out of oshun's business however we know who is oshun's child and who isn't right so you like an artificial you create an artificial oshun's children right she angry at your ass and so are we Right? Can't fool us. Now, um, we know for a fact, right? We know for a fact. People can say what the fuck they want to say. That black Americans set the trends all over this world, right? Right? We are what's popping. Everywhere you go on this planet, we popping, right? We set the motherfucking trends, right? And then every time we set the trends, right, there come a devil coming in want full control of it, right? Each time. Each time. So what we see now with these type of people trying to take our shit and revise it, but they ain't doing it for the greater cause, right? We're going to pull like motherfucking cards on it. So like, like I said, they always try to trick us with, um, they try to use LGBTQ, which a lot of our brothers and sisters 
uh, since uh, the beginning of time were gay, right? Um, so, so they pot, try to throw that in there, and then knowing the majority of LGBTQ businessmen is white racist, uh, you know, uh, bisexual racist, a lot of them, right? Or do what the fuck they want to do to sexual uh, beings, sex demons, right? Because they don't have the same nature as our brothers and sisters who may be Oshun's children, right? We know that. So why I say that is this. Billy Porter, right? Billy Porter is not for black people, right? If we had to measure the behavior of gay people, right? Who's been out here fighting for freedom, justice, and equality and knows how to do that, right? without being seen and heard, or without trying to push their sexuality down our throat, but to come to us, right, uh, as one, collectively, right, thinking of ways to fight fucking white supremacy, gay or straight, right, Billy Porter. But see, Billy Porter don't want that. Billy Porter is a black man who think he's a white woman, right? Because he married to a white man. But he really, in his mind, he ain't Oshun's child. He's just someone, a black man who th wants to be a white woman. And a white woman, white supremacist type of woman. So you got to pay attention to people like him, right? And um, how we can debunk Billy Porter's method of so-called civil rights, um, LGBTQ uh, leadership, right? We can shut you down. With James Baldwin, baby. Because if you look at James Baldwin, but James Baldwin was gay as they came, right? But James Baldwin had class, right? He had style. He had grace. And he was one of the most powerful LGBTQ, as y'all call them nowadays, right? Persons of the civil rights era. We have books. We have poetry. We have so many things that we love and honor uh, James Baldwin for, right? Regardless of his sexuality, we never questioned that we had no need to because that wasn't the issue with our, our, us, right? We never had to question and we, we never cared to ask James Baldwin about his sexuality. Some may, but a lot of us didn't give a fuck what was so powerful about James Baldwin, right? is that his soul didn't have a gender, right? His soul didn't have a gender. And he came here to do the work, right? Right? To do the work for the people, right? Not for white supremacy, right? Uh, James Baldwin was not trying to walk around here uh, with a dress on, right? I don't think even if even if he was in living in this daytime and age, you would see James Baldwin with a motherfucking dress on, especially not a red, black, and green one disrespecting our culture like that. I really don't think you would have ever saw James Baldwin do no shit like that, right? But Billy Porter is the extreme, radical, white supremacist and black face that they can find, right? Uh, to try to fuck with us. So uh, he can have several seats. You ain't our goddamn James Baldwin. Stop trying to, and that's another thing. So I wanted to go there with the LGBTQ, right? Because I already said, we set the trends. We set the patterns. We set the motherfucking stage for all of this 360, right? And um, no matter what it is, it got to be done in a positive light, light right? Or we will reject it. We'll reject this too. Satan, we rebuke you. That's what we do with that, right? So, we, brothers and sisters, right? Because I'm getting right in this. I'm going to wrap it up in a minute. But we are the trendsetters. We are the law makers, right? What we say goes. What we do is fucking law. So, once again, here you go. Got Obama coming out here because he knows that uh, he say all that shit. Because he can stop LeBron's bag, right? Or our brothers and sisters, 
you know, who uh, are out there in that world who has probably sold their souls or know uh, that's been threatened by the left uh, biracials of um, white supremacy, right, to stop their bads because they've been in bed with them. I told y'all since Obama, he had them, he had a bunch of them on his team ever since he got in there. And they think they that that, that he got them in there um, cause they, cause he like them. No, he wanted to keep an eye on you niggas. He wanted to see what was going on with you niggas. How to go left or right. And a lot of these brothers then came out here and joined teams with goddamn, uh, white supremacist agents, government, sacrificing our poor little brothers and sisters. Probably ain't had shit to do with a lot of their double man, right? For some butter biscuits. We not dumb. We not slow. We not stupid. I told you. We went to school over here in college too, right? So yeah, we said it. We said it, right? These celebrities don't set that. You understand that? We can change this shit. The snap of a finger. We can change this shit, right? And 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 rebrand ourselves. We're the only person on this planet that can rebrand our motherfucking stuff over and over and over and over again. Right, without uh, a motherfucker in our business trying to control it, right? We we the masters. And they tell you all that shit. Go to school. Black people don't have to go to school to know anything about goddamn branding, right? Or making themselves a business. We ain't got no problems with that. Now, check this out. We're gonna wait. We're gonna give you the weight of how this shit works. Now, Dapper Dan. Right? And that's why, like some of our brothers and sisters, right, they like fashion. It is what the fuck it is, right? But you got to do the knowledge on why, right? Things are the way they are. Now check this out. Dapper Dan, right, created some of the best style and fashion ever known. To mankind, right? And he did it, right, with Gucci, Louis Vuitton, people of that nature, right? Which we were still buying a motherfucking clothes to. We were buying a motherfucking clothes to, but one of our brothers, right, had just took it upon himself to go and take that and then create his own fashion. I don't see why not. We put enough motherfucking money in these bitches' pockets to do what we want to do, right? Because every time we come up with a creation, they're always biting it anyway and just stamp Louis or Gucci or whatever the fuck they want to put on there. But all these things really are just our goddamn creation, especially in fashion, right? So a lot of our brothers and sisters in the LGBTQ world, right? Our brothers and sisters, right, are the best, right, when it comes to fashion. When it comes to makeup, when it comes to hair, when it comes to whatever, you name it, our LGBTQ brothers and sisters, right, are the fucking best, the cream of it, right? So Dapper Dan, right, a black LGBTQ, you wouldn't fucking know it. He wouldn't dare put himself out there and act like Billy Porter. I promise you that. If you look at Dapper Dan, Dapper Dan is so fucking laid, style, class, etiquette. You would never catch him out there with that type of motherfucking behavior that Mr. Porter has. I never seen it. Anybody seen it? Please comment below, but I'm just telling you, I've never seen um, Dapper Dan with no goddamn, uh, with that type of behavior. And I'm sure I wouldn't see Dapper Dan in a red, black, and green goddamn dress talking about black power for LGBTQ. He has enough respect for his fucking people not to do no shit like that. And this here, here, here it is, right? So we we know our, our LGBTQ ados, right, are some of the most, you ain't fucking with them. You ain't touching them when it comes to fashion, right? These motherfuckers follow us around all day, every day, looking to see what we got on so they can stamp a brand on it, right? They've been doing that since our ancestors, are. 
But anyway, peep game, right? So Dapper Dan, um, you know, was making all these clothes and shit for us, right? You had the Gucci, you had the Finney, uh, fin uh, uh, Troop, all this shit. He had all kinds of shit, right? It was shit, bad shit. So what happened, right? Gucci, and I think Louis, I think all of them sued him, but I'm, I'm on, one thing I'm for certain, and most definitely for certain, right? That Gucci sued Dapper Dan for copyrights of taking their labels, right, and putting it on his fashion, right? So they did that. Tore it, tore it, tore our brother's soul down, right? One of the best fashion um, people in the world. Fucked him up with that lawsuit, right? And then you know what Gucci had nerves to do? Gucci had nerves to turn right back around and come out there with little motherfucking toothpick models with goddamn Dapper Dan's uh, hip hop uh, 80s and 90 classic clothing on the jacket, right? I think Sweet Tea, one of them had that jacket on in one of their video, one of their things a long time. But you always see Dapper Dan. I'm from the 80s and 90s, baby. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. But anyway, Gucci, later, years later, came out and bought that same shit back out that they sued Dapper Dan for, right? So I made headlines with black people. Because a lot of black people didn't know what they did at the time, right? But when they called Gucci out for its hypocrisy, right, in racism, right? Then you know what they did? They gave Dapper Dan a job. Did they not give our brother a job? Right? And you know what they did after they gave Dapper Dan that job? They started coming out with shit with blackface, right? They started doing all kind of disrespectful shit. Um, uh, for the for for the face of Gucci, blackface. Y'all ain't pay that no attention, right? So you know why they did that? They did that, right? Not just because they were racist. They did that so they could stop Dapper Dan's fucking bag. Cause what happened? Black people looked at it and said, "Oh fuck no, we ain't buying Gucci." Look what they doing, putting us in blackface, right? But the best shit Gucci got, top notch, right? Comes from Dapper Dan's fucking collection. You don't see the connection there? Dapper Dan ain't motherfucking dumb. You could, that's one thing. You ain't gonna play him any kind of way. So, brother, we, we apologize for the nuts. They never saw the reason why Gucci was doing what the fuck it was doing to you. Right? Satan, we rebuke you. You're not going to take our brothers and sisters gay or straight, right? And try to play us. Right? So now we knew after that, we knew how to... Now, see, this is the thing. So Obama... Bought LeBron out there, right? Because now he think uh, he can tell uh, uh, LeBron what to do, and then LeBron can tell us what to do. See, Obama can stop <coughs> Pardon, sorry. LeBron's bag, but he can't stop the black American bag. He can't do that, right? Nobody listening to him. Matter of fact, a lot of our brothers don't even give a fuck about no goddamn sports right now. They out here trying to fight over a fucking race war. They ain't got time to be entertained by you or no goddamn LeBron James when you got Dylan Ruth and uh, and Karen and, and clan cops and all these motherfuckers on the ground shooting and killing us. And you still to this day, right, have done nothing about it. Since your presidency, you still ain't speaking out about it. Not really. You come sideways to say you're supposed to be the greatest oral communicator ever to be on this planet. So how is it that you can't communicate to us, right, black people, right, that we were in danger? We're in a race war, right? And voting is not going to fucking solve this problem here, right? But you want to keep on playing your role in white supremacy. So, yeah, he want to do LeBron. He, he want to stop LeBron's bag. And if, you know, 
But LeBron, you 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 caused this on yourself. But we're gonna give you another chance to redeem your motherfucking self. But you're gonna have to rebuke Satan, right? Because you put blood on your hands when you put that shirt on after, you know, what you said, jumping in black people, revolutionary business. You ain't no black revolutionary. Stay the fuck out of our business. We'll handle this. Right? We'll handle this. If you don't want to lose your bag and you ain't ready to come over here and really struggle until we all make it, then get the fuck on. Going over there, but don't be trying to send our brothers and sisters to no fucking slaughterhouse listening to an Irishman in black face, right? Who's a, who, who, who goes right along with white supremacy on the left hand side, right? In the right. Trying to steer us in the wrong direction. Don't do that. Okay? I'm going to give you another chance because something's going to happen. Right? Something's going to happen again. Right? And there ain't going to be no amount of money. Whether they give you a bag or stop it. That's going to stop the wrath of God. Right? From coming down on America. Especially Obama. Right? And his imps. Because cause all of them, they all in, see, they all in judgment. Don't put yourself in there with them. The shit they use is trick knowledge. They know their time is up. You don't think Obama was president. You don't think he know uh, the history of this? See, what the, the, prop, the thing is this, right? Um, we don't give a fuck how they want to describe us, how we got here, right? All we know is we woke up one day, all of us was enslaved, right? So we don't really give a fuck about that part, right? But mathematically, right, we all know what fucking time it is, right? White supremacy. So like I said, uh, brothers and sisters, they, they they start putting that black face on Gucci on purpose to fucking stop Dapper Dan's bag. Right now, Obama's fucking with LeBron's bag. Everybody gonna tell me no different. Yes, he is. Uh, and I hope my brother get his come to his senses right. Because um, what we're learning to do, what you are learning teaching black people to do now, is the power of boycotting. Right? We're teaching them the power. Because that's what Martin Luther King was good at. Boycotting. Right? So it doesn't matter. So so now, you know, you did that, but now you got you got to think about how many people gonna watch the fucking game now. That's angry at me, black and white. No one is to race for, right? You had Captain it down there kneeling, right? He didn't fall. It took one phone call. From white supremacy and black face, and you back out there, voted die. I'm telling you, you better re better redeem your soul while you can, right? If you can by now, because a lot of you are already hellfire waiting for you. Ain't no returning. I'm, you know, see you on the other side. <laughs> it is what it is. So that's what Gucci did to our brother. Right, the most classiest LGBTQ, right, uh, I ever met, right, the James Baldwin, right, of the two 2020s, I tell you that, and he, they, Gucci, you thought black, you thought a lot of black people were slow, you thought we didn't know about what you did to Dapper Dan, right, you only did that to Dapper Dan because he called you out for your bullshit when you stole his collection, his 80s and 90s collection of um, clothing, right? Same thing going on here. I always give you the puzzles, put it together, do the knowledge. Because what I do, I give you information so you can take this knowledge and go research for yourself. What I say, my mouth isn't a prayer book. Understand that, right? But I can give you truths, facts, and information that you can reference to to find your own solution or answer to whatever 
question uh, you have about what the fuck is going on with this right and left side of the coin, like this, white supremacy, just like this, right, left side, it don't even matter. Two birds of the same, two, two goddamn wings on the same goddamn bird. Stop, stop letting Obama and the, uh, like our sisters say, black looking people, right? Trick us, right? Right now it's separation time. Hey, we ain't got time for that bullshit. We ain't going back to that. We, until we can sit around the round table and really talk about, um, how we going to move forward. We don't even want to talk to Obama because Obama's family owns slaves, right? Only relationship Obama has to America through his Irish roots is his Irish family. Uh, they may have been indentured servants or whatever, but they own slaves. Hot supper. Ain't that right, Obama? Ask Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell came out on my birthday. I'll never forget. And gave me that jewel about you. So you don't have any relationship relations besides Michelle. But you don't have a relationship or the black experience. You never had the black experience because your experience as an American has always been um white supremacy. Right? And when you when you ran for president, you went and got our sister, right? Because that would look good for you. A person like you, the neutral. That's what that was about. So, I wanted to get that out there for you, right? Watch out for the celebrities. A lot of them are double agents. We ain't listening to y'all. We ain't listening to y'all. Y'all need to mind y'all business and stay out of this if you're not really out here going to help fight the cause. And really, you know, once you stand up, listen, you don't come up with your sword, right? You don't come to battle. You don't go into a battle with your sword, right? And then the motherfucking opponent from the next side, right, sends out, since you don't want to talk to the king, he sends out the bishop, right? And the bishop, right, makes you lie down your sword, right? The fuck you think going to happen afterwards if the king lies down his sword, right? That's check motherfucking mate because all the rest of the soldiers going to rush in and do what? kill you see we're the gods and the earths and the kings and queens priests and high priests uh as below so below uh as above so below best chess players of life right we are so uh, you know i wanted to get that out there uh, you, what y'all doing is teaching black people, right? I ain't even gonna go too much deeper into it. But what you te teaching black people is to see what y'all be doing behind, behind closed doors. See all y'all, all that shit y'all did behind closed doors. It's all coming to the light, right? We can see it clear as day. We can see every last, uh, horn, rook, knight, bishop, king. Queen, you name it. We see our enemies in all the positions they play on the goddamn chessboard, right? And see, but uh, over here, we ain't stopping no bags because we work for God, right? We work for the Almighty itself, right? They say the Almighty itself. He don't do anything, right? He's just the thought, right? It's our bodies that take action, right? So that's what's going on there. So uh, <clears throat> we, 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 Satan, we rebuke you. I want y'all to keep, keep your eye up, keep your eye open for all this game they trying to run and play on us. And I'm telling you now, LeBron, better be easy because you. You know what Malcolm Martin Luther King said after he did what he did? He said, I think, right? I just sent my people into a burning house. Voting. Voting. 
civil rights. Understand, we are the aftermath of civil rights. We are the measurements of what happened between MLK's time and now. Okay? And we know our enemies from near and far, right? And their agents. So stop fucking with black people. Stay out of our business. If you ain't going, if you ain't ready to lay that bag down, celebrities, if you ain't willing to let that bag go, don't say nothing. Shut the fuck up. Bottom line, if you're not going to really show and prove that what you're saying is going to be right and exact, you're going to catch, you, you're going to you're going, um, love, catch hell until you do fucking right. Stay out of the motherfucking way. Because the big dogs is on the ground. You the puppy that needs to stay on the fucking porch. It's shit, this ain't got nothing to do with money you dealing with here. It's a race fucking war. Right? And see, y'all like to mix and mingle with y'all goddamn enemies. Y'all out in Beverly Hills. Y'all all in these places and shit where you easy targets. They ain't really gonna fuck with us like they can fuck with y'all. How about that? These are the things to come, brothers and sisters. We're keeping an eye on what's going on, especially on my page. We've been together for a minute. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you, right? Because we've been on a journey together. I came back on the scene on this thing right when my father returned. Remember that? And I couldn't get back down to Texas just to have my father buried. But I've been on here with this pandemic ever since, right? Because I was still healing from my na my nana uh, the year before that, right? So I had calmed down. But I definitely knew that um I definitely knew that I it was time for me to come back out. Right? I ain't the traitor that's going to leave my people and disappear and nobody can speak their language, right? No. I'm going, you guys. But like I said, watch out for the neutral noise. Watch out for the double agents. Watch out for these motherfuckers that will do anything for the bag. That being said, keep your fire. You know what I said, though? You They, they couldn't get somebody like Boosie to do no shit like that. Once Boosie opened his mouth to say something, it's law. They know who, what type of entertainer to fuck with. They gonna fuck with all types of entertainers, right? Because some of them really with the shit in the streets, right? Fuck Hollywood, they shit in the street, right? Where it matters. I just wanted to add that on. That being said, you guys keep your vibrations high. I already told you I'm at 99%. I'm getting there. Um, I don't want to bombard you guys this this week um, unless it's necessary. Other than that, um, I'll see you probably the weekend. We'll see. That being said, keep vibrations high. I'm out, you guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.